If you own a property and have a second mortgage on it, and if you want to keep this property and get rid of the second loan, attorney Shaw Perali can help. Call 510-742-5887. Due to the uncertain economy, many people have settled their debts for a fraction of its value. It's recommended to use an experienced lawyer to deal with it. Shaw Perali is an experienced debt settlement attorney and has handled hundreds of such cases successfully. There are no upfront fees for debt settlement. Only when you win, you pay. Call Shaw Perali, attorney at law, at 510-742-5887 or visit yourdebtsettlementattorney.com for a free assessment. This is just an advertisement. No attorney-client relationship is established by this ad. The law does not guarantee success. Call 510-742-5887. Are you an H-1B visa holder? Do you have an I-140 petition approved or have an extension under AC-21 provisions? Are you on H-4 visa? If yes, we've got amazing news for you. As of May 26, 2015, you or your spouse on H-4 visa might be eligible for a work permit, aka EAD. And to apply, you need a lawyer who knows about H-4 visa issues. Lawyer Shah Parali has been at the forefront of this fight for H-4 rights and has actually helped make this dream a reality. Now, his firm is ready to help you or your spouse get their EADs. Call 510-742-5887 or visit www.splgpc.com to apply for your EAD. This is an advertisement. No attorney-client relationship is created by this ad. And now, from the San Francisco Bay Area Studios, KLOK proudly presents to you the prominent attorney Shaw Pirelli for the Shaw Pirelli Law Show, coming at you with over 50,000 watts of power. The Shaw Pirelli Law Show, where all your views matter. Hello, 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 everybody. Assalamu alaikum, sister Khan. Namaskar to all the listeners. This is attorney Sharp Rali for the Sharp Rai Law Show. And today we are going to discuss, of course, about immigration and also some debt settlement. And I have on the board with me Franco. And before I start today, the show is live, so you can call this number to the studio. It's 408-912-5565. And uh, today is September 8th. And... Uh, and uh, when you're going to, this show is going to be repeating itself on Monday also. And uh, if you're listening on Monday, that means it's not live. And and I take this chance to wish everybody happy Ganesh Chaturthi and happy and Eid Mubarak also. There will be Eid also coming on that day. So I wish you all the all the best and um, and also for those who went for Hajj etc. So. Uh, I wanted to say a happy Eid and uh, and also today we're going to discuss a little bit about the politics of immigration and uh, and um, so we are going to cover different topics on immigration because things are not really moving but there are some some good stuff and bad stuff coming so let us discuss a little bit about those but anything I'm going to tell you today is my opinion you should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided you should contact an attorney if you have any questions the number to our office is 510-742-5887 510-742-5887 again we'll be opening the line in few minutes the uh, the line is 408-912-5565 i i know a lot of people already call so just bear with me one minute and then i'll be taking the call as franco so today we're going to cover the topics what is happening right now in immigration side for one uh, the visa built-in is going to come out for October and we are hoping that there will be some good move what we're expecting is EB1 to become current as for EB2 for other countries it might go back to current but and for regular we are hoping the acceptance date also will be moving forward hopefully to 2010 or 2011 and hopefully to 2012 that would be the best and uh, as for the 
processing time, it might move a few uh, around six months. So this is kind of what we are expecting. But again, I might be wrong. But this is a new fiscal year, and also the U visa will be reopening probably in few weeks. So let us see how things unfold for people. Let me take one caller. This is Sharp Rai. You are live on air. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, this is Shankar hi. here. Hi, Shankar. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm doing well, sir. I'm doing well. What can I do for you? Okay. Uh, I have a question. Uh, is it with a valid I-94 without a valid visa? Uh, will that create a problem for any future visa or a GC processing? Okay, I I kind of lost you in the middle. I think your phone got cut off. You say you have a valid I-94, but you don't have a valid step on your passport, right? Yeah, I want to know. You can we stay in USA with a valid uh, I-94 without a visa? Will that be a yes. problem for future uh, green card processing or any future visa application? Very good question. Once you are inside the United States, as long as your I-94 is good, it doesn't matter you have a stamp or not. The role of a stamp is just to let you travel. However, if you break the I-94 in the middle, then you have to leave and come back. Then you will need a stamp. Otherwise, no, you're fine. As long as you stay in the U.S. and you maintain your I-94, you are safe. Okay? Okay. And another question, sir. Uh, is it uh, easy step to convert a H-1B counselor processing to a change of status while being in U.S.? Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, it is uh, possible. But there might be issues, uh, especially if the H-1B has not kicked in, they might not allow you to do that. However, if they already cleared you on another visa, for example, you came on B-1, B-2, you might be able just to uh, amend the H-1B and send that I-94 from the B-1, for example, to the H-1. But yes, it is doable, but it has to be done properly. If you need help on that, just give me a call. We can help you on that. 510 5887. Okay. okay, sir. Thank you. Thanks Good a lot. luck to you. So, yeah, thank you so much for, for, for calling. It's a very interesting question. The, the difference between the status and the visa itself. They're both visas. The status is what controls when you're inside the United States, and the stamp is what will control when you're outside to come back in. Unless you're traveling, for example, to Mexico for less than 30 days or Canada, then you can revalidate through the I-94. You don't need the stamp on the passport. So having said that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's a very interesting question, and we're going to cover topics that are very... Um, we were talking about the visa built-in. Uh, we are hoping that there will be some, some very interesting move on October because the new fiscal year. But again, I might be wrong, but so far I think the EB-1 will get current. Uh, other countries, EB2, will probably get current too. As for India, when it comes and China, when it comes for the acceptance date, I'm hoping that the acceptance date, which is chart B, will go will go uh, higher, maybe another couple of years, unless they just keep it like that, or they even, I don't think they will retrogress it, but they will actually, pro they might actually move it forward. We are hoping on that. So let us. Hope that this, as for the U visa, this will be open too. As you know, the U visa for people who are victims of crimes. Sometimes you don't even know you have a U visa. That's why it's good to talk to an attorney. If you have been victims of crime, for example, someone attacked you, someone basically um, blackmailed you and things like that, and you have a police report, and the police is willing to work with us, or we can de we deal with the police to get them to work with us. We can get the form a 918, which is a U visa certification, done for you, and ultimately get you a U visa. The U visa is very interesting because it ends up by giving you a green card, and it actually goes faster than most of the EB categories right now. And we are doing a lot of them. And if you need help, 510742. Five eight eight seven. Let me take another call, uh, uh, Franco. This is Sharp Rai. You are live on air. Hi, I am uh, Shankar speaking. Hi, Shankar. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Uh, well. So, uh, I had a question that, uh, so, if my wife is on H4 EAD mm -hmm. and, uh, and of course, my I-140 is approved and I change the job, so, what happens uh, for her H4 EAD? The H4 EAD doesn't die if you if you can continue the H4 because the H4 itself is what controls the H4 EAD. So if you are doing a proper transfer, uh, your lawyer can also file for the H4 extension attached to that, 
and she can continue on that EAD. As long as there's no break in the H4 status, the H, uh, the H4 and the H4 EAD will continue. You just have to oh, reapply. So for my it. Uh, A140, I need to get reapproved by, by the new company and all that. Uh, that does not change the H4 EAD status, but no, it won't. If you do the transfer properly, it won't affect it. You just have to do your right. transfer of H1B properly, and you should be fine. Okay. And if there's right. any Thank confusion, you. you can always call us, and we will clear it for you. Sure. Okay? Sure. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah. Five one zero seven four two five eight eight seven is the number to our office. But the number to the studio today is four zero eight nine one two five five six five. Please call if you have any question on immigration, including family petitions, marriage petitions, VAWA, U visa, you name it. Just give us a call. Let me take another caller. This is Shapra. You're live on here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah. Hi. I'm Saranya. Hi, Saranya. Okay, yeah. Uh, sir, I, I have my H1 approved. I did it in counselor processing. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, uh, for certain reasons, I, I'll not be able to travel to India back. So I'm planning to do a change of status, an amendment. So I wanted to know, is there any issues with it? Any, it all uh, depends. Any it all depends. To be aware it depends. Of if I change from counselor to depends. To the yeah, it all depends on the case. But usually, no. You sh if you maintain status here, you might be able to shift it from counselor processing to to uh, a change of status. Sometimes they, 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 will, they will not accept it, but most of the time they will. So you just need to have the lawyer refile an amendment, change it from a counselor processing to a change of status, okay? Okay, okay. could I apply the EAD also for my spouse together with that? EAD uh, I have my I-140 approved, so could I apply a H4 EAD for my spouse? <laughs> Get yes, along yes, with yes, this yes. Amendment. You, yes, yes, yes. File the H, uh, the H4 and the H4 EAD for the, for your spouse, for your husband. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. Thank File you. all together. Okay. Let me take another caller. This is Shapra. You have a name? Hey, hi, Shah. This is Aramya. I have Ashana. one quick question. Yes. Go ahead. So actually, um, my cousin she went to Italy. Um, mm -hmm. And she lost her passport, I-797, and a few other documents. Mm -hmm. So uh, she's uh, like she con uh, like she had a discussion with the Indian consulate, and she's going to India. So in order to get the visa stamping, do we need? Uh, is it okay to go with Xerox I-797, or do we need to get another copy of I-797? They usually will accept. Tell her to get a police report. And get a, uh, they usually go with a photocopy because it's already on the system, so they will allow you to do that. But just be careful, carry a, um, a good copy with you, that's all. Okay, got it. Makes sense. Thank okay. you so much. Okay, yeah. good luck to you. Let me take another caller. This is Shavra, you're live in here. Okay, so I think I lost the caller, so I apologize for that. So you can still call the number to the studio today is 408-912-5565. And if you want a consultation, the number to our office is 510-742-5887. You can also check our website. It's attorney on air, one word, attorney uh, on air com. It will go on our website, Purali Law, and also our blog, Immigration Legal Blog, dot com please check it and also now many of our shows and also uh, covering many topics we have it on itunes and youtube please check our youtube channel and also please check our uh, the itunes if you touch up rally you will get a lot of good stuff that i have covered as much as possible when i see issues and i know it's general i cover it just to help the community so today well, ladies and gentlemen we are talking a little bit about about what's happening right now and uh, one of the things that is, is really uh, getting people worried is um, the, not only the state of the economy, uh, there are a lot of, um, of termination going on because companies are, are kind of uh, shifting gear. So be ready for that. And if you're getting terminated on H-1B, it's good to talk to a lawyer before you make any move. You can call our office for a consultation at 510 Seven four two five eight eight seven. Let me take one caller. This is Shapra. You're live on here. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hi, Shapra. Hi, sir. Uh, hi. A quick question regarding the EB1 processing. We filed the uh, the green card on the EB1. 
last mm-hmm. year september 3rd um mm-hmm. any update whether is it current now or are they still retrogressing on that okay you mean eb1 in which eb1 did you file um Hello? the eb1 eb1 c c c category yeah okay yeah it's they we are expecting hopefully on october 1st uh, eb1 will go back to current that's what they they've been telling us but we don't know until we see it but we should know in couple of days because the visa bulletin is going to come out and if you check my website i will put it right there on attorneyonair.com but there is an expectation that eb1 will get current however since it is eb1c the processing time there's no premium you have to wait for it to process so by that time hopefully there will be no other retrogression but uh, we're expecting it to be current but anyway the acceptance are still current so you can still file your adjustment of status and wait on that but um hopefully as from october 1st they are telling us it will be current for india okay okay sure okay. good luck to you so let me take another caller this is shap rai you're live in here so i'm so sorry ladies and gentlemen so we are having um i'm um, i'm i keep uh, having two calls and i'm i'm missing on one so i apologize for that please call again the number to the studio is 4089125565 4089125565 and um we are talking of course about the eb2 uh, and the backlog that we are seeing for india and china we are hoping that there will be some changes coming up soon but we don't know now what is going to happen i was talking about the state of uh, the economy we are seeing a lot of layoffs uh, unfortunately in many field so as as per today um many companies have announced layoff but at the same time other companies are hiring so you can always transfer your h1b the way it works if you do the transfer before they terminate your h1b you are you are pretty much uh, good to move on but if there is um a lapse you might have to do counsel or processing so be ready for that and if you need help before you leave give me a call 5107425887 let me take another caller this is shap rai you are live in here hi uh, this is dipti hi jyoti uh my h1 uh, h4b will be like my husband's h1 is expiring in december and he already filed for uh, the renewal and since i'm on h4 ead uh, i cannot work uh, after december if if i if it doesn't get renewed yes uh, and this, uh, and i have been uh, like hearing that it is taking longer time to get it renewed so what the is the h1 what? yeah us uh, do it under under premium oh okay then but do the h1 under premium longer? Yeah. Put it under premium and also the H4 will if you're doing the extension of the H4 the H4 EAD you will have also usually they will premium everything even though H4 doesn't have its own premium but when you do premium they tend to do it. So put it under premium you might get everything before December. Okay? okay. Thank you so much. Good luck to you. Let me take another caller. This is Shap Rai. You're live here. Hi um uh Hi. I had a question on um, uh the uh the California disability benefit like I'm on uh, H1B and uh, I'm 8 months pregnant so I want mm-hmm. to avail that on and wanted to know uh, if I would still be maintaining my H1 status if I avail that break Yes under the CFR whenever you have what we you're co- talking about the maternity leave right as yes. long as it's reasonable and it's uh, indicated by the doctor the h1b doesn't get cut off uh while this is allowed under the cfr however you need to mm-hmm. make sure that you are not taking more than what is prescribed to you so yeah usually yeah your maternity leave is you're still under h1b you're safe okay and is there any limit uh, that i can avail uh, this um, uh, benefit like uh, disability well the uh, limit is is based on the doctors um uh what they are granting you because okay. if you're taking more than what is granted to you then yeah you have a problem well even though you can explain that but it becomes more difficult to prove the case but if as long as you you're receiving disability then uh-huh. maternity leave you should be fine okay okay thank you 
Good luck to you. So let me take another caller. This is Shaprali Yolavanya. Hi, uh, Shaprali. This is Shalini, and I have spoken Hi, to you earlier before, uh, there, mm -hmm. and you gave me some valuable uh, advice. And I okay. have, uh, based on that, I have some follow-up questions. So my each uh, labor has. My perm application uh, went through notice of supervised recruitment. The official mm -hmm. time to uh, open a uh, basically an official query with them was October 2015, and my employer has been trying to call the Department of Labor. Um, and basically, everything, all the communication has been over phone. Uh, they've been giving us updates, and finally, they said that the case has been closed. You'll hear a final decision, something in the mail. We never received anything in the mail. We requested them to send something over fax. We never received it by fax. They said they have a backlog, but we never saw the fax for the final decision. So, what is yeah. the best way to find a the the final decision on my case? Because it's like over two and a half years, and my yeah, they, 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 have, they have been do, they have been doing that a lot to people. One of the ways to do that, if you go, I have a forum. I have a link on that forum. It's called um, uh, the FOIA on Labor Certification Freedom of Information Act. If you go online, just Google it. Oh, it's an SP Law Forum. You will see the link there. Just click on that and then fill the form. They should be able to send you the whole case. But there are other ways. You need to have your lawyer be aggressive with them because they've been doing that. They did that in one of my cases too, where they basically pretended they sent an answer, but they never did. And they keep saying, oh, you got lost. But it cannot get lost because all the other correspondents come and I have never changed address. So this is becoming a big problem with them. They keep saying they sent an, uh, something and you didn't answer and then they deny you. So you need to be aggressive on the email with them and keep calling them until you get them because and you cannot do that but your employer will have to do that unfortunately and at the same time try the FOIA Freedom of Information Act there's a link on that uh, forum that I have it's called SP Law Forum and by the way you can use that also to ask questions but uh, check on that the link is there and you will be able to get a copy of your whole case through the FOIA Freedom of Information Act okay Okay, perfect. So the website to go to is splawfirm.com? Yes. Uh, yeah. By okay. the way, this is a forum for, for our law firm. I've, uh, a lot of people ask questions there and sometimes I answer, so it's very helpful. Okay? Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck to you. So just to mention that we have a forum that we had set up a long time ago, but uh, sometimes it's uh, it's very active, but uh, sometimes I have, when I have a chance, I answer questions there. So you can post questions there. It's called splawforum.com, splawforum.com. So please check it. And uh, we have this link to get the documents from for, from the from the FOIA, um, from the Department of Labor. And also, uh, for those who, who need help with, with uh, their case, whether it's a labor certification, whether it's an I-140, H-1B, L-1, EB-1. We are doing a lot of EB-1 right now because a lot of people are qualified and we are pretty good at it. So EB-1A, EB-1B, or EB-1C, please call us, 510-742-5887. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as I mentioned from the beginning, we are covering the topics of of uh, of um, immigration when it comes to all the issues that we are seeing politically and also issues that we are seeing uh, when it comes to to the economic situation. We are seeing a lot of of course of uh, layoffs and uh, for those who are who are in this situation, make sure if you are an H1B, you're transferring your H1B before they cancel the H1B. If not, you can still do what we call a, a movement of the of the company, but you have to do it through a council of processing. And another news also that they are hoping to pass is it is being recommended that the U visas, as you know, when people get U visa, they cannot travel. They are trying to get a parole for people to, to travel. So hopefully this will come low and will be helpful. And as for next year, depending who wins the, the presidency in the next two months, things are going to change or not change drastically. So be ready for that. Uh, unfortunately, I've been saying it so many times, it is going to be really tough um, if uh, Hillary Clinton doesn't, doesn't take power. But at the same time, we don't know how she's going to react to most of Obama's um, uh, executive orders, which I'm pretty sure she will be keeping. For example, the H4ED wasn't that, 
uh, all the rules that you have been seeing in favor of immigration have been to the Obama executive orders. But at the same time, we have seen a lot of crackdown. One of the things that we are seeing a lot is when people are filing their H-1B and their company put an, a, either an end client which they are not using or they are putting what we call a, um, a, a in-house project which is not really a genuine in-house project, they are coming back or even after one year or so on the, when it comes to the H-1B, when you're doing an H-1B transfer, etc. So be very careful who you're working with. And if you need help or consultation, feel free to call us at the office, 510-742-5887. And the website is attorneyonair.com, attorneyonair.com. And we're still taking callers for the next 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. The number to the studio is 408-912-5565. 408-912-5565 and uh, Franco, we're going to take a, a quick break and we will be back after those messages and we will be talking a little bit about, about other issues on immigration and debt settlement so don't go anywhere and anything I'm telling you today is for educational purposes only. You should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided. Uh, you should contact an attorney if you have any questions. Thank you. Beerables Inc. is an e-solutions company that provides custom web design, web application development, and internet marketing services to individuals and businesses. They can build powerful e-commerce sites, mobile apps, develop content, and market you on social media. They can help manage your brand's reputation and provide rock-solid customer support. Call today at 1-800-651-6091 or email us at info at beerbowls.com for a free consultation today. Again, the number is 1-800-651-6091. The Shaw Purely Law Group and Emmy Law Help Inc. are proud to announce the release of the Immigration Law Podcast on iTunes, Google Play, TuneIn, and other renowned podcast channels. Immigration Law Podcast was designed to provide the audience with information on various U.S. immigration issues. The podcasts are unique because they are presented by the prominent attorney, Shaw Purely, covering topics such as B-1, B-2 visas, visitor and business visas, H-1B visas, L-1 visas, O visas, EB-1 visas, student visas, perm labor certifications, national interest waivers, NIW, green cards, and citizenship. Although educational in nature, the podcasts provide a rare insight on immigration news and politics from an experienced lawyer's perspective. Immigration Law Podcasts, a unique perspective on immigration law. Download them from iTunes or Google Play. For more information, visit attorneyonair.com or call 510-742-5887. This is just an advertisement. No attorney-client relationship is created by this ad. If you own a property and have a second mortgage on it, and if you want to keep this property and get rid of the second loan, attorney Shaw Perali can help. Call 510-742-5887. Due to the uncertain economy, many people have settled their debts for a fraction of its value. It's recommended to use an experienced lawyer to deal with it. Shaw Perali is an experienced debt settlement attorney and has handled hundreds of such cases successfully. Successfully. There are no upfront fees for debt settlement. Only when you win, you pay. Call Shaw Perali, attorney at law, at 510-742-5887 or visit yourdebtsettlementattorney.com for a free assessment. This is just an advertisement. No attorney-client relationship is established by this ad. The law does not guarantee success. Call 510-742-5887. So ladies and gentlemen, we are back and this is uh, Sharp Rai. We have a lot of callers, so let me take the callers, um, Franco. This is Sharp Rai. You live in here? Hello, Shah. Good morning and uh, Hello, thank you for your service and your uh, time for taking my question again. Oh, thank um, you, sir. Thank you. Like I appreciate it. Uh, sure. Like you mentioned, the current climate is, you know, like layoff, acquisition, spin-offs. So I'd like to keep my question more to my topic of interest, which is 
if company mm-hmm. a had a division that it is trying to spin off and merge it with company b mm-hmm. how would that impact the h1b employees uh, for the visa would it be simple as filing an amendment or would be a, would it be a transfer number 1 number 2 do they have to restart their uh, green card all over again if they have their pending one part a very 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 good question it all depends what you're talking about about the uh, emerger if emerger is a full successor in interest a successor in interest basically means you're absorbing the company the way it is as is then there's no need to do anything even the h1b transfer is not required but if they're okay. breaking the company they're taking part of it then yes they have to do both the h1b transfer and also they will have to redo the i140 okay but if it is a successor okay. in interest clause nothing is needed just an amendment for the 140 is fine enough correct yes then they okay. don't have to do much on that okay so if if the date advance after october and if the deal has not completed like if the company b has not taken over would company mm-hmm. a be still okay to go ahead and then yes. you know file the 485 if the date yes. is current okay. yes because okay. that, at this point in time the company is still alive and the case is still alive okay okay excellent thank, thank you for that good luck to you let me take another caller this is sharp right you're live in here hello Hey, hello, Shah. Uh, this is Nishant here. I have a question. Uh, mm-hmm. In the beginning, you talked about the bulletin board, which can move for like five to six months for EB one, two, and three. Is it the same for F two A as well? Like green card holders. Uh, um, green card holders. I have not really. I have not realized, and I have not really assessed that, and they have not given us a feedback. But I don't think F4 and F2A and things like that will move a lot. Oh, yeah, F2A might move. Yes, you're right. But uh, F4 will not probably. But yes, because um, they are trying to reunite families as much as possible. So there's a big chance you might see a jump in there too. Okay. okay? Because, uh, I applied for San Jose office and it says uh, they are processing November 2015 as of June. Uh, June 2016, but now it's September. So mm-hmm. it should be like three to four months update, or because yeah. last no, the processing months, time is one oh. thing. The uh, the processing time is one thing. That's the USCIS uh, chart. That's different. What I'm talking about here is visa built-in. Visa built-in is different, but I think it it is around the same time, right? The visa built-in for F2B. Let me double check quickly. I think right now they are they are. India is 2010, F2B 2000, uh, 2011, they are accepting 2011 acceptance. Yeah, um, are you looking at F2A or F2B? The F2A. F2A, right? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So F2A, yeah, is 2014 and processing time, uh, acceptance time is 2015 November. Yeah, it might be moving around the six months. It might be actually. I don't think they will make it completely current, but it will be backlog only for like three months or four months in terms of acceptance. As for getting the green card itself, is different. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Thanks. Sir. Okay. Good luck to you. Let me take another caller. This is Sharp Rai. You're live here. Hey. Good morning, Hello? Mr. Shah. Thanks for sharing the information. I have a question. So I'm considering. I'm on H1, so I'm considering my for uh, to file for H4 EAD for my wife. Mm-hmm. Still, she's on H1, so it's going to be expired next year. So I have a question on regarding that H4 EAD process. So uh, not process, but uh, if the government changes, is there? It is easy for the new government to revoke if they don't want it, or how does it work? Yeah, it will be easy <laughs> because uh, this was passed under. It was passed basically under Obama's executive order. Remember, there was no Congress involved, so. The only thing they will have to do is basically not to renew it. What they're going to do is uh, they are just going to, for those who have it, they will probably be able to enjoy it until it's completed, but they won't allow people to renew it. So that it won't be that hard for them to remove it. He just, uh, depending on the so who wins, uh, they can for, easily uh, pass. They can apply for an H1 if they need to work, if they want to work. Yeah, they will need to apply for H1 or they will need to go on something else. Okay. Okay. okay? Thanks. Sorry Thanks. for that. Yep. Good luck to you. Let me take another caller. This is Shah Pirai. You're live on air. Hey, Shah. This is Siddharth. Uh, I had I a question that. regarding my parents who are on B1 visa. Mm-hmm. 
so this time uh, when they were visiting they were planning to stay for 6 months but at the point of entry the immigration officer was saying that uh, she was going to give them only for 2 months but mm-hmm. when i checked the i94 online it uh, gives for 6 months validity so i was wondering if the date on i94 is that the final date or is there any, anything else i should look for it is a date on the i94 which controls so that means whatever is online is what controls Oh, okay. Is there another paper, or did you just say it like that? Uh, I think uh, she just said it like that, but I looked at the passport yeah. and the so I-94. They probably, they both they match probably and just it's valid for. Yeah, if months. it is uh, whatever is online is what controls. So just oh, make sure you print that finale. and you keep it, okay? Print it oh. right now before they, they they come back and tell you something else. Oh, okay. So okay. it's good to have a backup okay. copy. So that okay. Always, it's, even if you. That's a very good uh, thing you brought up. Everybody who's traveling. They mm-hmm. need to print that because this is a recommendation because this system has a lot oh, of glitches. Okay. So if you mm-hmm. print it, then you have a proof you can keep for yourself. Okay. Oh, okay. Is it? Uh, do they have any valid reason for reducing the stay? Is it? Uh, no, I probably it? just say that because right now they are all frustrated. Uh, sorry to say that, but most of those guys sitting at there sometimes they are frustrated and. And some of them, they're, they're just um, playing smart. But at the end of the day, when the supervisor sometimes look at it, they just issue mm-hmm. the full six months. Okay? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot. Okay. Good luck to you. Let me take another caller. This is Shapur. Are you alive in here? Hey, Shapur. I have a quick question regarding my EB-1 uh, processing. Yes, sir. Uh, we filed EB-1C uh, last year, September 10th. Mm-hmm. I got my 140 approved in the month of February, but after that, there is nothing. We have raised a couple of cases, and they just say that we are processing. That's it, nothing else. You're talking about your I-485? No, I'm talking about my I-485, the final green card. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, the I-485, right? Yeah. So, yeah, they're not going to process it now because the dates. you're from India, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get your work permit already? Yep, 140 was approved in February. Yeah, but I'm talking about, did you file the I-765 also? Did you get that approved? Uh, sorry, I don't know what is 165. 1765, the the work permit, the EAD. Yeah, EAD was approved, yes. Okay, so you, you're not going to get anything now because the dates are retrogressed. Until the dates becomes current, they won't touch the case. So you just have to be patient. Hopefully it will be current next month and... And everything should be cleared after that because they knew your new retrogression was coming, so they kind of hold on a lot of cases because they got an overwhelming number of cases. So just uh, wait a little bit. As soon as it becomes current, hopefully you should get your green card. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good luck to you. Let me take another caller. Uh, this is Sharp Ray. You're live in here. Should be cleared after that. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, is it Adarni Sharp Yeah. Yeah. This is Sharp. You're live in here. Yeah, hi. Uh, I have a quick question, sir. So, uh, I'm a green card holder, so uh, uh, I need to apply for the uh, citizenship. So, But recently I checked my passport, it got expired. So, do I need to renew the in, uh, current passport before applying the citizenship or it's not required? No. It's not required. But make sure all your passport you have with you when you go there and show them and after you done that, you know you might not even need to renew the passport because you will get the American passport. So you don't have to renew it. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Good luck to you. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, we have few more callers. So I'll just ask Franco to put a hold a little bit, and then I'll take them in a minute. But just to let you know, we also another area of practice we do is debt settlement. This is becoming very strong right now, especially some of the house market is starting to fluctuate in some areas not really in the bay area but other places and we can help you with the second mortgage we can get rid of the second mortgages we can do those on credit cards we can do this on many other debts and the way it works is that we negotiate the debt and we get you a fraction of its value for example you hundred thousand we might be able to get you out for only twenty thousand and this is a, a process of negotiation if you want to know more about it check your debt settlement attorney dot com your debt settlement attorney dot com and um 
and if you if you need to to do an assessment also you can call our office 510-742-5887 and now uh, let me take one more caller and then i will have to take a meet but uh, one last caller, Franco, and for those who, who we are not able to take, please give us a call at the office for a consultation, 510-742-5887. This is Shah Pirai, you're live in here. Uh, hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm on a H1B visa, and um, I quit uh, on M4 on April 10th, and on April 7th, uh, I joined a new employer. And the new employer has filed my H-1B on April 17th. Mm -hmm. So uh, now I got my H-1B approval, uh, but I see the start date as May 17th. Mm -hmm. So, but the receipt date, uh, it's clearly stated that my current employer has filed the receipt date on April 17th, but the start date is showing as May 17th. So is that okay? Do you have the I-94 on that? Yes. What does the I-94 say? Uh -huh, I have an I-94 number. It's, it's the same. It says May 17th. Okay. You should be fine because it was it was duly filed on time. Probably your employer put the start date a little bit later. But since it was filed on time, you maintain the the I-94 just continued on that. So you should be fine. There's no problem. No, it's a, but it's a new I-94 number. It's not the same old I-94 number because I changed the employer. Yes, yes, but the thing is just like, as long as they gave you the I-94, that means they merged it with the old I-94, so that means it's a continuation. Since it was filed uh, on time, you should be fine, okay? Because uh, April uh, April 10th was when I quit my old job, and April 17th was the date when he filed for a new one. Okay, so, when, was your, when, was your, when was your H-1B exp um, uh, cancelled by the previous employer? It wasn't cancelled. It was not. So as long as it yeah. was not cancelled and they approve it, you should be fine. But if you want to be safer, if you have a stamp on your passport, it's better just to leave the country, come back. It will reset it. If there's any issue, then you won't have any problem. But you don't really need to do that. But if you are getting a little bit worried, then give me a call at the office. We can look at the entire case. Because I'll show employee also if what date they put on the system there, okay? Okay. Okay. And uh, so, uh, even if there is a one month gap from April 10th to May 17th. Yeah. Usually it doesn't work this way. It's um, it has to be kind of continuing, but it's not a big problem as long as they issue I-94. It might be a mistake from their side or a mistake from your lawyer's side. But at the end oh, of no, the day, oh no, my lawyer was... requested on April 17th only. He showed me that, but I don't okay. know why it came for May 17th. Well. Technically, yeah, then the, the the thing is just like um, it was probably a mistake from USCIS. So if it was done premium, ta ask your lawyer to send an email and double check on that. But technically, I it should not be a problem. But um, it is uh, it is the first time I see them sending that like that unless you request it. So you need to double check and have the lawyer check with them because it might be a mistake from their side. They will correct it. Okay. Yeah. So if they had to correct it, how long will it take? Well, it it's going to take it's um depending. No, is it like are they going to check two months, like sixty days, ninety days? Oh, uh, okay. Because there's also I I changed in one more location and there's an amendment going on now. So okay, so to, since yeah. there's an amendment going on, then the amendment yeah. is pending. You're safe. You can you can start working, and from the amendment you can just basically. Uh, you can just basically um, start working on, on, on based on the amendment file, and hopefully it will be corrected under the amendment. Okay. So do I need to correct it or just ignore it as of now? You don't have to correct it now because you did the amendment. It will be useless. Okay. I mean, we did an amendment for the new H1, like uh, the new location, but this is for yeah, the old Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's no need to do that because you already okay. did the amendment. So the, under the amendment, the correction will probably be done. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay then. Good luck to you. So I think I, I cannot take more callers right now, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So for those, uh, you can call next week if you didn't get us, or you can call our office five one zero seven four two five eight eight seven. And before uh, I take a meet, uh, I think I have another nine minutes to go. I just wanted to tell people if you need any help on an immigration or debt settlement where we can help you get out of debt. You can give us a call at 510-742-5887.
and the website for debt settlement is your debt settlement attorney dot com and we cover uh, debt like credit cards second mortgages lawsuit uh, for example you have a lawsuit against you and uh, they already got a judgment against you we might be able to settle that because if you leave it like that it will go on your credit etc so I just wanted to let you know if you need any help when it comes to either debt settlement or immigration uh, give us a call and I say Eid Mubarak to all because for those who are listening on Monday is Eid and also I think Ganesh Chaturthi is coming so I wish all of the best and enjoy your festivities and hopefully we have some good news coming on the visa bulletin soon and Amit are you there? Hey Shayas, I'm here. Hi Amit, how are you? And, um, good, how are you? you for, I'm doing well, I'm doing well. So I'll let Amit continue and she will explain debt settlement and real estate in Hindi and Punjabi. Thank you Amit, thank you Franco. We'll be back uh, next week. Uh, from noon to one from on Monday. Bye bye. Yeah, thank you, Shah, and uh, so it's a very good day. And uh, yes, wanted to wish everybody a uh, happy Ganesh Chaturthi. Pati Papa, you know, wish uh, uh, give us all the blessings. And uh, plus, uh, Eden Mark, uh, that is coming on Monday as well from my side, too. So let me give you my details first. If you are looking to need any help on the real estate side, you can definitely contact me. I can help you out with any of your needs and we can save you money that is our motto and that is what we do is to save you money and uh, you know don't uh, put you into any kind of a situation where you're losing the money from our side so that's one thing that we bring it to the table if you are working with me is to make sure that your money is safe and you're getting what we commit on you and that's bring it with a passion as well so my number to contact is 510-299-9361 and my website address is gambiramit.com. And, uh, you know, so if you are actually looking to, I mean, uh, buy, sell, uh, and uh, you want to buy an investment property, like, you know, uh, uh, you're looking for uh, uh, apartment complexes or any duplex, fourplex, triplex, any area, any county in California, I can help you out in, in any of those stuff. So I don't have any particular market. I do it only based on your requirement. So you have that options open for me from my side to get you the best deal that is available in the market to get you the best cap rate that is there for you guys as well. So if you need any help, definitely give me a call. My number is 510-299-9361. Our office do the loans as well. So if you want to get a pre-approval, you want to do a refi, cash out, anything like that, you won't need any help with. We have 70 lenders that we can definitely get you the best deal possible. We have done so many tough loans from our office, which can't be done. I got to see W2 there to have your 1099, which we have here. And uh, the one qualification to have loan was there. And anything that is bothering your credit, I got to credit there to which problem I have To see many contacts or something here, we can definitely sit together, go over the details, and help you out on that one. So again, uh, my uh, number is uh, 510-299-9361. And then, uh, you know, uh, uh, we also help you out in... Uh, you know, commercial properties, I got to the commercial properties, which I think anything that is uh, like gas stations, liquor stores, hotel, motel, anything like that, we can find you the best deal possible on that too. And plus we do, uh, you know, um, manage the property in our office as well. So you have everything that you want in one, one office under one roof. So that way it's going to make your job easy. You don't have to run around for anything, you know, in the real street side. We can definitely take care of that for you. So again, the number is uh, 510-299-9361, and it's uh, G-A-M-B-H-I-R, Amit, A-M-I-T, dot com. Office is located in Fremont. And like I said, any counties that you need help with, uh, we are there to help you out. And our, we also have our shows, uh, you know, come in on Tuesday, if you want to listen to us for half hour, in which we do take calls and uh, provide you with more details and everything on that. It's Apna Ashiana, and you can listen to us on every Tuesday from 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m., where we discuss about the different topics and everything. Baki Sade Gold actually got a promotion, so the PNS, where they have to see Apna Makan, which is a 1031 exchange, which is a 1031 exchange, the property is a RNA, which is a property, which is a tax, which is a tax, which is a tax, which is a tax. You don't want to pay any, uh, you know, tax money on that one. You want to buy similar property. You want to uh, invest it, that money into a better one. That is one of the capital you know, uh, instead of like uh, uh, losing your money on the current property. You can contact me. We do a lot of deals on that one. 
अगर कोई टेनेंट की प्रॉब्लम है ये प्रॉपर्टी जब दैट इज बॉदरिंग यू एज वेल लाइक दैट वी डू द प्रॉपर्टी मैनेजमेंट सो वी नो ऑल द इन एंड आउट हाउ टू टैकल दो सिचुएशन एंड टेक केयर ऑफ योर नीड्स एंड सेव यू मनी सो फॉर दैट यू कैन कॉल मी एंड द स्पेशल प्रमोशन दैट इज गोइंग ऑन वी आर ओनली चार्जिंग वन परसेंट प्रमोशन ऑन द लिस्टिंग साइड विच मीन्स लेट से इफ यू सेल अस फॉर एट हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टू मी इफ आई लिस्ट द प्रॉपर्टी फॉर यू यू कैन ओनली पे मी एट थाउजेंड डॉलर्स ऑन दैट वन एंड इन दैट I will do this. I will make sure that you will provide, you will get the, the more better exposure on your property, and plus we will do the open house. We will do the uh, you know proper marketing for you, and we will do the broker tour as well, and make sure the property is priced right, right? Because the JD pricing thing here, you need to make sure that your property is not priced high, so that it doesn't sit in the market for too long, and you're losing a lot of money on that as as well. So our thing is to give you the right information at the right price. to make it happen and save you money that that's what i said in the beginning that's our motto to make sure to save you money so it's 1% which is not a bad deal if you want to get it done call me and then i can you know go over the details and see how we can help you out and make things happen for you on that one so the number to contact me is 5102999361 and my website is come here amit.com इवन एक्चुअली अगर तुम्हें मकान लेना भी है दिस इज अ परफेक्ट टाइम एज बस क्योंकि रेट्स जो है काफी लो है लार पीपल स्पेकुलेट करते पे कि अगर अस यू नो वेट करिए इलेक्शन का एंड ऑल दिस स्टफ आई वुड से टेक द अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड बाय इट राइट नाउ बिकॉज यू नो दीज कैन ऑफ रेट्स आई डोट नो इफ इट कैन कम बैक अगेन और नाट बट दिस इज द परफेक्ट टाइम यू हैव डिफरेंट प्रोग्राम एज वेल एफ एच ए के रेट भी काफी वी है so if you want to definitely have a better mortgage you know i would say go for it now if you if you can qualify get the house plus you know i mean uh, right now as i'm seeing like lot of the uh, the house the houses that are like more than 625k those are the ones are you know getting the price reductions as well not anything like on the town houses or the condos but the bigger bigger houses are getting some uh, price reductions so you can get the best deal possible I just showed. Uh, I'm selling one the short sale in Fremont right now. Uh, you know, it's uh, was listed for 900k. I have to buy it now. Like it's a 835k da. So which is a very good deal. It's a it's a 2007 built house as well. So these kind of a deal we can get it for you. Plus, as here, you know, we get the property for the auctions as well. If you want to rehab it and uh, you know sell it back in the market, we have investors who can buy your properties too within three days as well. तो मेरा नंबर है फाइव वन जीरो टू नाइन 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 थ्री सिक्स वन वी हैव कपल ऑफ लिस्टिंग्स अवेलेबल अगर तुम मकान लैन के बारे में सोच दे पे हो वी हैव अ हाउस इन यूनियन सिटी विच इज अ सिंगल फैमिली हाउस थ्री बेडरूम टू बैथ लिस्टेड फॉर सेवन फिफ्टी इज क्लोज टू पसे पार्ट एंड डिकोरो एंड देन वी हैव टाउन हाउस इन न्यूयॉर्क विच इज थ्री बेडरूम थ्री बैथ एंड दिस वर इज क्लोज टू फेसबुक हेड क्वार्टर्स फॉलो ऑल्सो यू नो सैन फ्रांसिस्को ब्रिज एंड ऑल दिस सो इट्स लाइक नॉट टू फार अवे दिस वन इज लिस्टेड फॉर सिक्स सिक्सटी थ्री and uh, it's vacant as well so if you want to like you know looking for a town house in new york it's a central location great location to be moving in and the ho is only 145 bucks on that one a month which is not bad so these are some listings we have and then again agar tumhe kuch bhi debt settlement karni hai ki tumhare kol do property hai kitne and uh, you know to see refi nahi kar sakte kuch bhi problem hai ki aur dewa se contact kar sakte ho shop rali team no they don't charge anything up front you know it's not like a plan or anything but you have to pay minimum money to make sure that you are out of your tax lien debt lien credit card lien jadi bhi thing bother kar di pe to get the refinance done or get the cash out from the property they can help you out and save you money so for them you can call them at 510 7425887 anything for the real estate need you can call me 5102999361 and uh, that's all i have for you guys today and we will be back next week on tuesday and monday we shop rally and then have a great day we'll be back thank you Are you an H1B visa holder? Do you have an I140 petition approved or have an extension under AC21 provisions? Are you on H4 visa? If yes, we've got amazing news for you. 
As of May 26, 2015, you or your spouse on H-4 visa might be eligible for a work permit, aka EAD. And to apply, you need a lawyer who knows about H-4 visa issues. Lawyer Shah Parali has been at the forefront of this fight for H-4 rights and has actually helped make this dream a reality. Now, his firm is ready to help you or your spouse get their EADs. Call 510-742-5887 or visit www.splgpc.com to apply for your EAD. This is an advertisement. No attorney-client relationship is created by this ad.